So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and I'm sure by now you've dropped into Verdansk 1984 to check out everything it has to offer. On the surface, it seems very similar, but there's actually a lot of differences and Easter eggs that we'll be going into in this video. I highly encourage you guys to watch this video through to the end, because I guarantee you're going to learn something new. If you did, I'd love to know it in the comments below. Furthermore, if you found anything new that I didn't cover in this video, let me know below. And whilst you're down there, don't forget to click the like button if you enjoy this video. It helps feed that YouTube algorithm and subscribe so you can make your way back to the channel. Jumping in with one of the biggest talking points of the last year in Warzone is the bunkers. As the seasons progress, we went from a simple Easter egg to open Bunker 11 to getting red access cards to open all the bunkers around the map. And the big question is, do the bunkers remain? Well, in 1984, all 11 bunkers still remain in their exact same locations. A lot of focus last year was on Bunker 11 with that nuke lying inside. That remains in the exact same spot, despite the fact that Dam has been replaced by Summit. As it stands, for the moment these bunkers can't be interacted with. Checking what Call of Duty have said directly about these bunkers, they mentioned that these are initially sealed for now. They can't say exactly how we'll be interacting with the bunkers and other hidden areas, though you can expect a host of surprises as the Black Ops Cold War seasons continue. One thing to remember is that these were described by Captain Price in Season 4 as Cold War era bunkers. So in theory, these bunkers should remain very similar to how they were in modern day Verdanks, but we can look at the Warzone strategy guide to give us a bit of a teaser onto what interacting with some of these bunkers will involve. Looking at Bunker 10, for example, which housed one of the main rockets, it says despite the redacted near the redacted and perhaps the red door redacted, even if redacted. Try redacted if you can't access the redacted. The fact they mention a red door is very interesting and we'll touch upon that in the video in a little bit. Looking at Bunker 11, it says in order to redacted, which seems to redacted, you must answer redacted and providing you redacted. This cryptic explanation sounds very similar to the original method to open Bunker 11, which involved answering phones in four different locations, which gained you access. Another thing which the bunkers never touched on in Modern Warfare was that there was a second secondary bunker door in all of these bunkers with a keypad that was never used and I'd like to think we'll finally see the use for them in Verdansk 84. On the topic of bunkers, our second thing we're looking at here is a brand new bunker entirely. If you come to the brand new airplane factory and head down the stairs to the underground section, to your right through this corridor, you're going to see a brand new bunker. This, unlike the other bunkers, is not numbered, so it's unsure right now if it's connected to the other bunkers. It has a keypad just like the others, and I'd be willing to bet that this is probably the first bunker we'll be able to interact with later on down the line, just for the reason that it is brand new. Speaking of brand new, a new point of interest which isn't marked on the map is a location west of airport called Old Mine. If you've not checked this out, I highly recommend it, but what makes this very interesting is the fact that Old Mine has three secret underground mine shafts which are currently blocked off. As you can see through this crack in this rubble, you can see that there is more to it that's currently blocked off. If we head further up the Old Mines, you can see that this has been blocked by an actual mine cart itself, and if we get on top of it, we can see through these wooden borders that there is a mine shaft track and even a grapple which will let you grapple down and up this seemingly deep underground network. If we look really closely in the Verdansk 84 trailer that released to coincide with season three, you can see portions of gameplay of operators fighting in these mine shafts. So it's confirmed that at some point we will be accessing this and it will be part of a brand new area of the map. If you cast your minds back to season five of Warzone, we got the introduction of the underground metro train system that allowed you to traverse around the map by going underground. And I think this is going to be the 1984 equivalent of the Metro train system. If we look at what Call of Duty have officially said about this location, they finish it by saying, you may also notice that the interior mine complex is currently blocked off for now. But you're probably wondering, okay, if we've got one end here, where is the other end going to lead us to? And this is where we get another new area called Salt Mines. This is what existed before Cast River Quarry. Around the sprawling space is two large and currently sealed entrances, 
Both are sealed with gated doors with locks on them, which also look like they are part of a underground network. Now, these don't have minecart tracks laid down or anything like that. Considering where this is on the map being on the very far right middle of the map and old mines is on the far left, they are parallel to each other and are perfect for a network to connect the two together, allowing you to traverse around the dance from one side to the other really, really quickly. This is also teased by Call of Duty on their website by mentioning that it has two large and currently sealed entrances. The next secret is something that was shown to us in the cutscene to introduce Verdansk 1984. When we pan through the hospital, we get towards one of the doors, which is a red door where we hear Stitch talk to us and we see loads of numbers sprawling out of it. Now, I was surprised jumping into hospital that there wasn't any red door in the same location as the cutscene, but if you've played Black Ops Cold War, you know how relevant the red door is. In the mission break on through, Russell Adler begins to use psychoactive drugs as a last resort to coax Bell into giving up the location of Perseus. Implanting false memories into your mind, Adler attempts to walk the player through several fake scenarios in Vietnam, all culminating in the player walking through a red door, which led to multiple recounts of the same experience where the red door would lead you down a path which inevitably ended with another red door. I think it would be an absolute crime if during this Cold War era of Verdansk, the red door is not used as some form of Easter egg, purely from how Black Ops-esque it is, as well as exploring all of the themes and cool things tied around the idea of implanting false memories into your mind, which could tie the entirety of the Verdansk 1984 storyline into it being literally just a dream or something in someone's head. Going back to what we spoke about with Bunker 10, the description near the end mentions and perhaps the red door. Well, I'd be more surprised if it isn't something Thing in Warzone at some point rather than it being something that is. Next thing we'll talk about is this mysterious map which you can find in TV station. At first you might just think this is a random map but this map actually shows Verdansk which is right in the bottom right section and this is showing the surrounding area and regions of Castovia which Verdansk is just a small part of. Now I'm not going as far as saying that this map is showing potential future maps that are next to Verdansk geographically. This is the first visual map we've seen in Verdansk 1984 of anything like this and the details obviously there for a reason. Going to the description for TV station from Call of Duty, at the end they mentioned their reports of some sort of broadcast still going online here but it's probably best to ignore that for now. I don't quite understand what that means but they're clearly hinting that at some point in the future of Cold War in Warzone there's going to be something significant happening with TV station. Our next secret is something incredibly subtle and something that I've not noticed until the new Verdansk 84 map. And technically, these didn't exist in 1984, but we'll let Raven off with this one. And this is a QR code that can be found on your Repel device. If you scan, will take you to the Call of Duty Endowment website, which helps veterans find jobs. Now, apparently this is also on the Stim as well. And this might not even be a new edition, but it's something I wasn't aware of. And I'm sure some of you guys didn't know about this either, which is really cool of Activision to do. Our next secret and mystery is going to be looking at the old Verdansk Stadium. Now, upon first inspection seeing this, you'll probably be thinking that this is what the stadium used to look like, but this is described as the old Verdansk Stadium, and this is an old stadium that's being dismantled in preparation for construction of the one we got in modern day Verdansk. Now, for the moment, the demolition site in the stadium itself is still open, but at some point in the future, this will not be as open. You can see specific details of the stadium where bits of it are already gone, like there's stand gaps missing. In further seasons, the stadium could be gone entirely from the map. Our final secret is something which I'm sure if you weren't told about it, you would never ever realize. But if you make your way to Krovnik farmland, there is a new domed town hall structure, which is based off the fan favorite Black Ops 2 multiplayer map standoff. Now, at first, you may struggle to see the similarities to standoff, but this town hall structure is the middle building from the multiplayer map, paying close attention to the walls around the town hall especially you'll notice that they are the exact same entrance and exit points and sight lines from that middle building and standoff the interior of this town hall features a fully explorable central structure with numerous interior windows and plenty of sight lines and routes to learn and feels very cold war-esque of course beyond that there's a few other black ops areas which are a little bit obvious and not so much really secrets but array has been added which is part of Duga from cold war as well as the 
the fan favorite Black Ops 1 map Summit, which replaces all of Dam from modern day Verdansk. As for now, that's pretty much every new secret and mystery added in Verdansk 84. Just like with the original release of Verdansk, there was a lot of mystery and secrets lying around, but they weren't fully accessible straight away. And as the seasons progressed, more and more things became active Easter eggs. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen this time around as well. So pretty much most of the stuff we've spoken about in this video will come to light in the future, just not right now. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be super appreciated. Subscribe so you can make your way back to the channel for more Warzone Easter eggs and secrets. And I'll catch you for another video very, very soon.